night used to be the end of the red line in, in DC. So when the red line was built in 1978, um, or was, was when it was finished, this was the terminal station for the red line. And so that's why there was this eight and a half acre surface parking lot that when we started this project, you started construction a year and a half ago, you would have said, why would you have an eight and a half acre commuter parking lot in such a near end location? Um, but it's because it used to be the end of the red line and this used to be you know, pretty far on the edge of DC, but obviously its development has spread out. Um, it, it no longer made, this was not the best use for this parcel. And both the city and WMATA, back in the 90s, I mean, this, it, you know, it wasn't just into the aughts, I mean, it was like early 90s, um, they had targeted this site for, okay, you know, transit-oriented development makes a lot of sense. It's interesting, um, WMATA's process for joint development can be long, um, but they have been nationally recognized as one of the agencies that very, one of the transit agencies that very early on got hit to the fact that they have a lot of land and a lot of opportunity to leverage strong development. So both they and the city, like if you look at the city um, plans from, from the 90s, this site had been targeted for transit-oriented development for a long, long time. You'll have these faucets in um, the affordable units. There's a slightly fancier faucet that's going to go on the market, right? You know, but... 